Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about this thing called sample size. So when you come to a statistician, first of all, forget all that statistician stuff. You're working on a research project, scholarly project, and you need to calculate how many people you need in order to you know, conduct a study, all right? How many people do I need? What you're really doing is you're calculating what is the minimum people, participants that I need for this study in order to show statistical significance. So let me paraphrase that. How many people do I have to, sh to have to recruit for this project, this study, this dissertation, um, in order to show that I have something here, in order for my results to actually show that I have something here and that there is a relationship between the variables in the project, okay? And the reason why we want the minimum is because we don't want to recruit too many people. And why we don't want to recruit too many people is because you could recruit so many people that you show statistical significance when there is no statistical significance. In other words, you have a p-value, it's less than 0.05, but really there's no relationship between the variables in your model. So you don't want that. You don't want to show a falsehood. You don't want to show something that's not really there and then make decisions based off of that. So what you do is you you use stuff like G-Power. Um, there's another one called PASS. PASS is more, is, is more um, I feel PASS is, is, I think you have to pay for PASS actually, but I digress. Anyway, so you, you get this software and in the software is this thing called effect size. Effect size is basically indicating the relationship between the variables. How closely relate, related are they? So if you're looking for a uh, strong or a large effect size, right? then you're going to need not as many people as say if you were looking for a small effect size, right? Or a moderate. So usually your statistician will ask you, well, what is your, what effect are you looking for? Small, medium, or large, right? So let me give you an example of this, what I'm talking about. Hmm. Say you were doing group comparisons, right? And you were looking at the difference between two groups with respect to um, the mean, okay? The mean difference, right? If you're expecting the mean difference to be large between, for example, pre and post, I'm expecting a large change then that would be a large effect, essentially. If I was expecting a, a small negligible change, that would be a smaller effect. And, and again, if your effect size is small, meaning you're not expecting to see much of a change, then what that means is that um, your set, what that translates to mean is that you're your, your sample that you're calculating is going to be, you're going to need more people, essentially. So small effect, you need more people than a large effect. Large effect is the opposite. You're gonna need less people for that. And if you play around with like stuff like G-Power and you change the effect size, you'll see that your calculation is going to shrink or it's going to get larger depending on the effect size. So I just want to mention that. The other thing I want to mention to you, because a lot of times people are confused as to when to come to a statistician. So usually you come to a statistician before you actually conduct the project. 
So that's before you start collecting data, right? You should talk to someone about your sample size. And that sample size should be based off of what procedure you, 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 you're you going to use. If you're going to use a t-test or one of these other uh, statistical tests, you want to pick the right sample size calculation, okay? Each sample size calculation goes for a particular, it's, it's kind of married to a particular uh, statistical test. So you don't want to grab, for example, a correlation um, sample size calculation for something that's really linear regression. So you, you know what I mean? So because linear regression, you have more parameters to look at. You have different parameters, all right? Your concern with linear regression is how many independent variables do we have, for example, versus a correlation where you're not looking at that. You're looking at, you know, effect size. You're looking at, you know, the R statistic. So it's different. So I just want you to know, know this stuff and not just collect data. You should be able to include in your proposals how many people you intend on um, collecting. And there's a specific way that you should um, speak in your proposals when it comes to the sample size calculation. So it's not just a matter of saying, oh, I've got 50 according to my sample size calculation. Bam. No, you want to say, according to the this sample size calculation, uh, using this particular test as the premise for that calculation, and then you list all of the parameters parameters that you used to come up with that sample size. That's how you typically do it. Um, and if you need more help, just, you know, you can reach out to me and I will um, explain it to you specifically for your case. But yeah, so that's, that's sample size. Have a nice day.